Now we're going to look at a transition in positions from closed guard to turtle. We can use this for a lot of things, and I really enjoy teaching this specifically to beginners and uh, people that have to go against uh, wrestlers a lot because it enforces distance and it focuses on strong fundamentals. If you know how to do a technical stand-up, you're going to have a lot of success with this. So if uh, you are a veteran and you want to use this as a setup to get into your loop chokes, that's going to be the following videos. I'm going to do a three or four video series on all the different loop choke variations that feed off of this. But uh, up front, for the beginners, you're going to have a lot of fun with this because it's very fundamental, very basic, and it has a lot of good transitions that we need. All right, for the beginners, right here, the reason that I like this is because it starts with a sound fundamental movement, the technical stand-up. We're going to start in this position right here with one knee up, one knee down, one hand back, and the elbow resting gently. We refer to this as the watching TV position. With my foot on the floor and my hand on the floor, I'm going to lift my hips. Right? Technical stand-up is very easy, but the problem that most people have is they try to drag this foot back and come standing. Their feet get jammed. Or I hear a lot of times that it turns into, I'm not flexible to do that. Everyone is flexible enough to do this. I don't care if you're 400 pounds, you're going to be able to do this. It is basically the same way that a baby stands up. All right? So my hand comes here, I turn and come standing. If you ever watched a baby get up, this is how they get up because it has the most sound uh, foundation and base. It's very easy, okay? If you have problems with the technical stand-up, that's the way that you should learn it first. One, two, and then stand up. For really large people to get off the floor, that's how they should get off the floor anyway. It takes a lot of pressure off their knees. As you become better with that transition, you get better at uh, standing up, better with your balance, we're going to remove that second hand. That second hand has an important job and it's going to block the face. In this move that we're about to look at, it's going to be hand in the collar. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my bottom up and again remember I'm going to turn my belly towards the floor. I'm not going to bring my leg back, I'm going to bring my leg under, back by my hand, and then stand all the way up. It's very important that we have our technical stand up right when we do this move. Okay? For the move that we're about to do, we're going to start from closed guard. Our hand is going to be in the collar. Our foot will then transition to the hip. When we're here, we will push, we will pull, and you see how this leg goes all the way back. The big complaint that I have with people is that when they go to do this move, they come here and they want this leg to be back. But it's never going to work out that way. All right? Not in reality with against, against a resisting opponent because when they grab a hold of a leg, it's not typically this leg that they grab a hold of. They want this leg. That's the one that we need to get as far away from them as possible. If we switch that, I don't even know if I can do this, okay? A lot of people will do this, all right? You, do, you don't want this. You're going to get crushed here. Hold on. No, that's right. I can't even do it wrong, all right? I'm going to tell you, I see a lot of students do it wrong. Don't do it that way, all right? This leg goes all the way back and up, turn, and shear. And here, you're going to see what I mean, okay? All right, so my hand goes in the collar. Uh, make sure that you tell the students, this hand isn't really important, all right? If I can get my hand all the way up, I'm gonna cross, collar choke. If my hand can't go up, I'm gonna loop. As you get more advanced, the loop is just gonna happen because all your opponents are gonna posture. You're never gonna get your hand in deep, okay? But I like to have my finger touch just below the collarbone for this one. Now, I'm gonna turn into that watching TV position. My foot comes up on the hip, my other foot is base, and they should feel very comfortable with this because this is something that we should teach in the first class, all right? My bottom is gonna come up and I'm gonna push with my foot. This enforces distance against people that want to crush you. It gives you a little bit of breathing room. Against wrestlers that like to dip their head, you know, new wrestlers, people that haven't done a lot of jiu-jitsu, okay? This can save you, okay? As you get better in wrestling and, and you mix in your jiu-jitsu, it won't save you as much. But for, for uh, the beginners and stuff, this, this is great, all right? So my hips are going to come up and I'm going to throw that leg back. As I throw that leg back, you're going to see that I'm going to pull with this hand. As I do that, I want their face to go towards the floor. In practice, warn them, all right? In tournament and stuff, we want them to skid across their face on the mat. I don't want them to get hurt, but I want their body to elongate so that it makes it better for me to take their back. So I'm here, I hop back, I pull him forward. Now this outside knee is gonna shear. I don't want you to spin, I want you to step, that knee shears straight into that good crucifix type position or knee in from turtle. One, foot on the hip, Bottom up, I'm pushing, back, turn, shear, right into that good position. One, bottom up, I'm pushing, back, step, shear. 
And I like to maintain this grip here and keep a hand on the thigh. If you want to go to the back of the tricep, that's fine. We're going to move into all of our crucifix type positions, all of our loop chokes, all that stuff is coming up. And I like to use this specific set. Hand on the collar, foot on the hip, back, pull, step, shear, control. One, space, back, turn, and shear. It is a great basic move. It is a great uh, way to get into your crucifix positions. It's a great way to get into your loop chokes. Your loop chokes are all going to take place off of when you can get your wrist in, you beat their head to the floor. If you can't, crucifix. So it's like good or good. This is a great setup.